Previously on AI the Somnium Files. Excuse me, you Konami Date? Yep, that's right. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Okay. Ota's telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. That means Mizuki pulled the ice pick from the her socket? Ugh. Why? <laughs> Hey, you all right? Are you okay? I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! <laughs> I've never been married. Recap over. Q transition. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Okay, I've been I've been waiting for this. Good idea. Okay. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're in my steering wheel now. Let's hear the timeline of events. Aiba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? Yeah, I've had bagels with cream cheese before. It's always the best if it's just like a plain bagel toasted, cream like, smother it in cream cheese and then smoke salmon. At once. Alright, here's the timeline. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. So, approximately 5 p.m., Shoko dies. Uh, we don't know what time, it's in, somewhere in between 5 and 8, 10. Uh, our girl Mizuki receives a message on Nile, which is this this um, world's version of Telegram, I guess. Or whatever um, instant messaging app is popular with the young people these days. Um, it's from an unknown sender, goes to request, it requests for her to go to Bloom Park. Uh, Mizuki calls Oda, the um, young man, and asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. Uh, and approximately around 9 p.m., they find Shoko's corpse. Mizu uh, Ota flees, Mizuki is, stays there. Uh, Oda reports the crime by a payphone. The first responders arrive on the scene, describes, discover Shoko's corpse, and, date, and, and uh, approximately 10.50, we arrive. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Exactly, it might have been someone she knew. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. So you can do that, definitely, huh? Uh, Aiba is charging right now. She doesn't have a built-in generator. That means I have to charge her sometimes. Okay, so just ch chuck her into the steering wheel. Uh, about the blood stains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Yep. Which, as you all know, it means the body was was moved there after she was killed. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Yep. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. So, my guess is she found the body just like that. I think she just pulled the, the ice pick out of the pore of, of um, Shoko's eye and then went to hide as like a weapon of defense or something. She's 12. Yeah, she's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. Good. I knew that from the start. <laughs> she would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. She's 12. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Uh, anything else about Shoko's corpse? The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Any more about the corpse? The corpse was found with her left eye removed. Yeah. That eyeball has yet to be found. Gee, I wonder. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So we don't know conclusively if the eye was removed before the ice pick was put in her face or after. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Isa pulled it out? She was scared? Wolf chief take Oops. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? With a kill hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. Oh, because it sounded like it didn't sound like a joke, Iva. I was merely joking, as you call it. You need to work on your delivery. Anything on your mind? 
Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. Okay. And I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I mean, realistically speaking, if that place was a restricted area for like a biocontamination sort of thing, even though the levels would have been clear, that place was still cordoned off. So why would there even be cars there in the first place if it was abandoned? I am. Then how did the suspect move the corpse? Ah, oh, it's to set up that, I guess. I have no idea. The kids, they don't know any better. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Excuse me, what? Hi, Zuki. Zuki. You're not saying anything because you're... Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Okay. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. I hope in... not in that sort of sense. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. Oh. Okay. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. Pfft. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. What? Oh no, we're diving into her brain now, aren't we? We're going into her un un unconscious, subconscious. Oh boy. And now we get to see the main mechanic of this game, I think. Let's see. Uh, hi, Pewter. How about Iba? Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? <laughs> do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. So you can date the thing that's living in your eyeball? Are you serious? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Wow. Rude. Huh. So you were listening, huh? You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee you know, this that. Is, you know, this reminds me of a game I played on YouTube, I think, two, no, like two, three years ago called um, called Remember Me. And it was also about um, memories and manipulation thereof. Uh, the game is on my you YouTube channel. You have nothing to worry about. It is on my YouTube channel. Uh, I I can't give you the, the, whole, the whole story stupid. because they are spoilers. But it's an interesting game. Not one I would consider like the best game I played of that year, but it certainly it was an interesting game for, for sure. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. It's her father. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. Well, okay. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. You could have asked him before he then? He hasn't been heard from since. Wow, okay, that's suspicious. Why would he... I don't know. Interesting. Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Ugh, I don't know. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. As a medical professional, I'm going to look that up. What is aphonia? Aphonia is defined as the inability to produce voiced sound. Damage to the nerve may be a result of surgery, for example, a thyroidectomy, or a tumor. Aphonia means no sound. In other words, a person with this disorder has lost their voice. So you're telling me that the reason why she can't talk is because it's psychogenic. Makes sense, right? Because it can be because of psychological trauma. PTSD, for example. Physically, Makes sense. she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Makes sense. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like mm -hmm. that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You know, you could just use sync as a word instead of putting a stupid P in front of it and making it sound very, 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 very pretentious. You're the only one who can. Monitor on string strings of characters. What am I supposed to do? A sync machine. Izuki is lying in the sync machine on the other side of the glass. Oh, so I guess I have to talk to everyone. You're asking then. me that now? Oh, I can. I can. I'm asking look you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. <laughs> Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? This means the only way, I guess. CRT. Mothers. Date, it's the girl from that horror movie. 
coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? It's a ring joke. Ugh. Well, I uh, guess there's nothing left to it but to uh, get to it. Can I get to it, please? What am I supposed to do to get down there? Oh, oh. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Okay then, here we go. Whatever this process is. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Two? Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. Okay. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss, Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Like psychics almost? Our job is to find it. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. I'm gonna be inside your head. Duh. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. If you're gonna if fix her, if you can. Cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Let's, let's do a bit more then. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. <laughs> so what are the other type of people called? Swimmers? <laughs> sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. Ah, the dream files. That's what the that's what the name of this game is called. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? When this is all over, let's look at some of that stew you like. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. <laughs> Do you not have a more... I'm oh, sorry, I'm really bad. Date, her heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Well, it seems like a story about Stu will definitely calm someone's nerves. Oh, special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. What? I added a new feature to the six system. Gasp. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Gee, I wonder. Sure. Got it. Well, uh, let's 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 do it then. Let's see what happens. I am curious to see what's gonna happen. Date, you ready? Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. Hello, what are we look do looking at here? Yeah, Inception was a really cool movie. I love it. It's one of my top 10 films of all time. Also, that's what Aiba looks like inside people's heads. That is our eyeball, eyeball AI. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Ah, uh, yes, a Terminator reference. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Wow, looks... Wow, that looks creepy and horrifying. Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Yeah, she's 12. Seeing her own mother um, mutilated like that is definitely terrifying. Mizuki should be inside that column. 
To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Yep. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Yes, of course. Give us an arbitrary time limit and then give us a feature that removes that arbitrary time limit. Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? Yeah, we're getting to inception physics here. It has to do with relativity, right? Oh god, this is science you speak. Two people can experience time differently depending on space time. Ah, my brain! This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! Ow, my eyes! God damn, woman. Jeez Louise. Alright. Mental lock number one. The cage. Mental lock number two. Oh no, mental lock number one is the lightning. Mental lock number two is the cage. And mental lock number three is the door to the column. Alright. Heal Mizuki's heart. <laughs> Sinking in the pain. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Oh, wow. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Oh, God. Hmm? Okay, that's freaky. The horses are moving. All right, Nightwolf. Pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. There's a six limit minute time limit in Insomnia. Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Oh. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 second time limit. Okay. But we are going to get to that in the next stream.